Hello, I'm Alex Hare, and I welcome you to Australian Archives, a program of musical items featuring Australian artists of note and taken from the archives. And welcome to another edition of Australian Archives, beginning this one with the Dargies, led by Hori Dargie, of course, and a grab from a 1966 in Melbourne tonight. And they're backed on this particular recording by the famous GTV9 band. They give us a Perry Como medley. <laughs> I 
beside you when the storm is past, then my heart will not be Overcast, written by Dorothy Dodd and performed there by George Trever and his Australians, vocalist Norma Francis. They recorded that one on their first recording session for the Regal Zonophone label, 25th of March 1943, at the Homebush Studios in Sydney. And the program began with the Dargies and a grab from a 1966 in Melbourne Tonight soundtrack. And Perry Como medley. Hope you enjoyed that. Now here's Jeff Brook, who recently died in Melbourne, one of Melbourne's icons, tune written by John Ash to promote Hailman Island, recorded for Prestophone in Sydney in September 1950, I Left My Heart on Hayman Island. In the blue seas of North Queensland where the colored corals lie There's an isle of moonlit magic Where the soft sea breeze sigh I lost my heart On Haven Island That lovely night On sand so white Beneath the moon The stars look down On Haven Island While winds that woo Sang softest to hearts Beat in June Thank <laughs> you. 
Nowadays we often gaze on women of a fifty Without the slightest trace of wrinkles on their face Doctors go and take their dough to make them young and nifty But doctors I defy to tell me just why No matter how young a broom may be It's always full of wrinkles We may get them on our face Prunes get them every place Prohibition bothers us But prunes don't sit and brood No matter how young a broom may be It's always getting skewed In the kingdom of the fruits, the prune is snubbed by others, and they are not allowed to mingle with the crowd. For oh, they're never on display with all their highbrow brothers. They never seem to mind, to this fact they're resigned. No matter how young a prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. Beauty treatments always fail, they've tried all to no avail. Ah, the fruits are envious, because they know real well. No matter how young a prune may be, hot water makes them swell. Baby prunes look like their dad, but not wrinkled quite as bad. Every day, in every way, the world is getting better. We've even learned to fly as days go passing by. But what about the poor old prune? His life is only wetter. No wonder he can't grin in the awful stew he's in. No matter how young the prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. We may get them on our face, prunes get them every place. Nothing ever worries them, their life's an open book. But no matter how young the prune may be, it's got a worried look. Very kind, they say, when sickly people moan. But no matter how young a prune may be, it has a heart of stone. The Song of the Prune, it was. And that time we heard Len Maurice, a tune written by Frank Crummett. And Len recorded that one for Columbia Label up in Sydney on the 19th of November 1928. Before that, it was I Lost My Heart on Hayman Island with Jeff Brook. Now let's turn to a Johnny Mercer tune, Dream. Bob Hudspeth and his orchestra, vocal refrain by Betty Lester. <laughs>
Riders in the Sky, a tune we normally associate with Vaughan Munro, written by Stan Jones. On that occasion, though, it was a recording by Jimmy Parkinson with Albert Miller's quartet for the John Mystery label, recorded in Sydney late 1949. Let's have another Jimmy Parkinson tune now. This time it's Again. This was written by Lionel Newman and Dorcas Cochran, and Jimmy's accompanied by Les Jones and his rhythm for the same label, the John Mystery label, Sydney, late 1949. Again. Sign. 
this is the thrill The 
late Rochelle Turner. Rochelle died in 2003 and she was performing there in 1956 with the Bruce Clark Orchestra, recorded in July of that year for the Planet label. Before that, Jimmy Parkinson with Les Jones and his rhythm and again. in this edition of Australian Archives, Jim Davidson's Palais Royal Orchestra, vocal by John Warren, and recorded in Sydney, 26th of July, 1933. My first love to last. Australian Archives was conceived, prepared and produced by Alex Hare for Golden Days Radio. Thanks for listening and bye for now.